Hi everyone, my name is Justin A.K. Ghost Reader and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Jonathan Petrus. And this book was given to me by Penguin Teen. So thanks to them for this arc. This is actually arc. This, this book actually came out last week, Tuesday. So that was September uh, 17th. And so you can actually go out to the store and buy this. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you've heard me talk about this book and how much I enjoyed it. So um, a bit about the, the story. Uh, the story follows two girls, Mabel and Audrey. Audrey is uh, from Trinidad. She comes from Trinidad because uh, she has some trouble uh, in, at home with her, um, uh, she got in trouble for her sexuality and she's, been, she's being sent to Minneapolis to live with her father. And of course she misses home, but while she's in Minneapolis, she meets Mabel. Um, they're both teenagers and um she begins a friendship with mabel and unfortunately mabel gets sick and uh so uh she and audrey uh they get to know each other as mabel's dealing with her illness and they fall in love over the course of the book uh when i first got this book from penguin teen i wasn't sh um, sure if i would like it because i'm not a big reader of romance i think i've read maybe one romance i read one more romance uh, novel this year and i wasn't feeling it but I must say that I really uh, enjoyed this book. I was sold um, on this. Um, I read the one, last 150 pages in one day. I uh, just had to know what was gonna happen to the main characters and how it was all going to end. And um, by the end, I was very satisfied with this book. Um, what I really liked about the book is I, I liked the author's voice in this book, like the way she wrote the characters. I think she did a really good job with the characterization. Um, going back and forth between the two, um, between the, the two characters, and also there's an, another character who you get their brief perspective on things as well. Um, but going the back and forth between the two, so it's kind of you get the first person experience from both of these characters and their thoughts and how they were thinking. And this this is kind of a celebration also of of uh, things that are black, black culture, not only here in the United States but also uh, from the Caribbean. And I really enjoyed that that touch. Um, I enjoyed. Uh, I really liked the fact uh, that she used uh, Trini dialect for Audrey, uh, you know, which reads throughout the book. And as someone pointed out to me, you kind of, for some people, for some, some authors, is more strong in the beginning and then kind of wanes as the book goes. But in this one, it's kind of it stays strong all the way through. So you get that authentic feel for for that character. Um, and this book. It kind of almost has a spiritual feel to it and that um, the characters themselves are trying to figure out where, you know, their own kind of like spiritual, um, like their own spiritual experience. And in this book, uh, it is explored through, it's their spiritual it's explored through astrology and traditional religion. And I thought that that exploration of that was done really well. And also in this book um, is explored to some the struggles that uh, black LGBTQ uh, um, uh, people face in their own in in their own communities, and it talks about that. It talks about this uh, kind of uh, becoming comfortable with what what you are, and and in this book is done really well. The romance between these two is done uh, immaculately well, um, and for for a romance novel, at least, and in my opinion. And um, I just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the ending too because um, this book, I would say, has it has a touch of magic in it, and it really comes to comes to bear in the in the ending of this book. So I really really um, enjoyed this. I, like I said, I did not expect um, it to be as good as I thought it um, as good as it turned out to be. But I'm really glad that I actually, um, you know, I gave it a chance. I went in with an open mind and I actually liked this book. So um, I would give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, like I said, you can pick this up uh, at uh, the bookstore. It is out now. Um, and once again, thanks to Penguin for giving me this art to read. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. You can follow me on Twitter at GhostReads28. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Justin the Ghost Read there. And also on Gurries. The link to that is down in the description box below. So as always, keep reading.